2001 Cabriolet. Um, right rear speed sensor fault code. Uh, that won't go away or it, it pretty much comes back fairly often. Um, the right rear speed sensor tested out fine uh, resistance wise and a visual inspection of the tone wheel etc. Uh, nice quick easy check here or test is to swap the harness plugs here for the left and right wheel speed sensors. So you hook up the driver's side to the right rear harness and hook up the right rear speed sensor to the left rear harness and take it for a run. If the uh, problem still happens to be right rear uh, then uh, it's a wiring problem or a module problem uh, ABS module sorry because now the left rear sensor is hooked up to the right rear and we never had a code for the left rear and if the fa sensor were faulty for the right rear it would now set a left rear code so that's just a quick easy check that you can do or test uh, yourself Okay, here's the um, data log of the ABS speed sensors um, for front and back. And as indicated in the prior clip, I swapped the left rear sensor to the right rear and the right rear to the left rear. So before what was happening is um, when I was driving it, the right rear speed sensor set a fault code. Um, and when viewing the scan tool, there was a flat spot uh, where obviously the ABS speed sensor seemed like it was not producing a signal uh, but as you can see this is the right rear field but the left rear speed sensor is now connected and the left rear speed sensor uh, before had no issues so I know that it is a functioning speed sensor and tone wheel uh, I mentioned tone wheel because the tone wheel is pressed onto the uh, rear drum or hub depending or hub depending on if it's a disc brake uh, or a uh, drum brake um, and um, the uh, tone wheel can actually come loose and just freewheel uh, and even stop spinning uh, even though the, the rotor or the drum is spinning um, actually come to think of it I don't think there was ever an ABS uh, sensor on a drum setup but that doesn't matter um, so right now the left rear which was producing a good signal is now on the right rear and you can see the right rear is not functioning here uh, I'm driving at various speeds as you can see from the other speed sensors uh, down at the bottom is the brake light switch so I'm obviously in traffic uh, touching the brakes every now and then stop and go traffic uh, the long period of uh, inactivity that's when I'm just cruising as you can see here from the other speed sensors um, and then all of a sudden uh, the right rear does come to life uh, and again the right rear was connected to the left rear uh, and it from the get-go was functioning perfectly uh, so this leads me to think that it is a wiring issue uh, going from the right rear harness to the module uh, or in all, more likelihood the uh, module itself um, it's common that with time the um, boards in the module the tiny wi wire strands that uh, go to the processor uh, microchip whatever you want to call it uh, they, they become loose or frayed and um, make intermittent contact um, so uh, we're going to uh, be sending this module out um, uh, with the uh, customer's approval then uh, or if they want to get a used uh, module installed uh, that's the other option uh, but I just thought I'd mention this quick interchangeability in the back for the harnesses uh, so you can verify whether or not the fault code travels. Uh, again, if the right rear inactivity had now moved to the left rear, then that would have um, verified that the sensor or the tone wheel or something on that right rear wheel was bad. Uh, since the problem did not move, the uh, issue is still with the, like I said, the wiring or the module. Thanks for watching.